this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. In this episode, I'm going to be joined by Polly Reindeer, who you can see on her balcony, and I have an egg for you, Polly, see if you can catch it. And, yep, yeah, there's no way that's going to land anywhere near Polly. But I tried. I tried my best. <laughs> right then, let's go and begin the, the day, as I always do, by going and having my a breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. Mm, very tasty. Butterby, you can stand up and you can join me. I will be delivering you with the rest of the, the wolf pack in the doghouse in just one moment. But first, of course, I need to go down to my love garden uh, to tell you who it is that I'm adding today. And I'm actually, I'm not adding a person to the love garden today. I'm adding a family to the, the love garden. So the, the family that I am adding to today is the uh, the Cubberly family. And the reason I'm adding them is because they work to, together to build this kite. And it's an absolutely enormous stampy cat kite. I haven't seen any pictures of it flying. So who knows how well I can fly, but they obviously worked really hard to create this. It looks amazing. So everyone uh, who worked uh, to create this kite, thank you so much and welcome to my love garden. Right then, let's go and uh, take Barnaby to the, the dog house. I can then shoot. You were perfectly camouflaged then. You, If you, like, ever give up doing redstone, you could have an amazing career pretending to be a flower. <laughs> and you could just absolutely fool everyone. <laughs> right there, so yeah, let's go and choose uh, which dog's going to be joining us. And then we are going to be going back to the, the fun land to continue uh, building the, the game that we started in the, the last episode. So basically in the last episode, we got a, a giant, basically like an ice rink done in my uh, lovely world where... Uh, yeah, we can do a bit of boat curling is basically the game. We don't actually- Oh, Polly! Polly! No, Polly! Turn, Polly, look! Behind you! Could you- <laughs> <laughs> you just got cuddled by a zombie. The zombie just walked up at you and then just cuddled you and then ran away. And Barnaby is getting all worked up about it. Go on, Barnaby. You can take out the zombie. Come on. You got it, Barnaby. Barnaby's getting a little bit a little bit slow in his old age. He used to be very quick taking out the, the googlies. That was very heroic, though. Thank you very much, Barnaby. You can eat the, the rotten flesh if you want as your reward. And Sherbert, seeing as you had the, the, the front row seat for that, you can have the, the front row seat as we carry on building. So yeah, basically we got that done in the last episode. So what we're doing today is we're going to do a big mechanism which is going to basically be firing out boats to create a, a perfect stack, uh, which is going to be the, the important thing that we're going to need to be able to, to start the game, and it's going to automatically res uh, reset itself. And uh, if we get it done, and I think we will, I have faith that we'll get it done. If we get it done, it's going to be a really cool thing to, to show off uh, how it works anyway. So right then, uh, let's go into my teleporter here to teleport over to my brand new teleporter, which is over at the Funland. Right then, I think the teleporter should have just about arrived. Well, the teleporter was here, but I have just arrived in the, the other teleporter. And this is where we're building on this slightly, a little bit of raised ground up here. And yeah, let me just once again explain the way the game's going to work. Basically, you're going to be sliding around these boats uh, in order to try and make them land in the, the target. So let me try and demonstrate on this one. If I go and give it a flick, you'll see it will go sliding across the, the ice like that. And probably will end up going way too far and fall down into the, the pit. We did a test in the last episode and we kept making it going way too far and I think I don't know we're gonna have to experiment today once we've done the the tower but I think when you slide the the boat along just on the ground it goes further but like when they're gonna be in a tower you're gonna be flicking them from higher up and I think that actually makes them go slower so you're gonna have to adjust like how like hard you pull them depending on where you are but uh, yeah that's gonna be something we're gonna be able to, to play around with later on but first uh, let me go and start building so basically I'm gonna put a dropper up here which is gonna drop the boat onto some water which is then gonna push it and then slide it down so it needs to be quite high only because we need to have quite a lot of boats. So I'm going to go 13 blocks high here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There we go. Lucky number 13. This is basically just to, to fit all of the, the boats in. If you're going to play with less boats, this doesn't need to be as tall. And then what I'm going to do, and I probably should have done this before I came up here, but let's just go and do a crafting table. It's actually probably going to be good to have a crafting table up here because I'm going to be doing a whole lot of crafting while I'm up here. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a, uh, a gate. Uh, the gate is only uh, to, to stop the, the water from falling down everywhere. So it's basically a way to, to stop the water going, uh, but to also allow the, the boats to, to be able to, to make their way through. So this fence is going to be basically floating here. And then I just need to build a little bit of ground around down here. And then this is where the, the, the water is going to, to actually be. And so there's just going to be like two blocks of water. Uh, one which is where the, the, the source block is going to, to be. And then there's also going to be uh, one where it can kind of just be flowing. Because otherwise the boat would just land in the water and just kind of completely stay in place and not be pushed over the the edge so uh, let me just go and add in a, a couple of pressure plates here like this i can kind of fill in just the the back area like this
this, and what this should mean is that if this water gets put down here, it shouldn't spill everywhere, and it shouldn't go and <laughs> give Polly a, a, a shower uh, wherever she is down underneath me. So yeah, I can break away this dirt now. This should all be staying in place. So now we just need to have the, the dropper, which is going to be directly pointing down here, because if we didn't have the water... And then basically, instead of like firing out an actual boat, it would fire out a boat, but just like the item of a boat, which you could just pick up, which would mean we just have like a pile of, I guess, like tiny boats <laughs> on the, the floor, which wouldn't be a very good for for flicking around. So I need to make sure this dispenser is pointing down, which it is not. And oh no, oh no I know what's going to happen here. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Did I get it? Okay, I was able to catch it. <laughs> so I need to be like looking up at it as much as I can. Or oh, is that it? Nope, it's still facing me. Oh, how am I going to be able to do this? Oh, this is so annoying. Um, I might have to like, if I put like a ladder down there, then actually, you know what I could do? You know what I could do? Right, Polly, you are going to have a bit of a shower, I'm afraid, because I'm going to break away the water for a bit. Then I can swim down on the water and then I can place the dispenser, and then I can swim back up. Oh, nope. Okay, this is going badly. <laughs> Let's swim back up to the, the dirt pole, and then I can go and just make myself another fence gate and go and put that back in. I don't know how, how else I'd be able to do that. I don't know, like, what else I'd have been able to, to done to get that uh, working, but hey, I got it done. We can go and make it another fence gate, and then just go and put it down here. The fence gates are a little bit weird because they have to be placed on a block. It's not like an actual fence. Like, it has to be on a block, but then you can break away the, the block, and it will kind of end up... Uh, uh, floating anyway. And oh no, did it drop it? No. Okay, I still got it. Oh, this water's so annoying. I just I just want to put this down. Honestly, once I put this down, then that's it for the water. There won't be any more water flowing around. We are done. Especially as we're going to be building out of redstone. And anytime you're building out of redstone and then you have water all over the place as well, it's just like the most frustrating thing in the world because you're absolutely terrified the entire time that you're going to accidentally break a block that you didn't want to, to break and it's all going to fall down. No, stop pushing me back, water. No, no. I, oh, this is driving me crazy. I got, I got Okay, let me just like, I could just block the water off with just some blocks and then I can try and get the fence in at the right place. There we go. Is that the water blocked? Okay, that's the water block. Oh no, then I'm going to fall down. <laughs> I need to get up before the water disappears. There's only one block of water and now I'm falling down. Right, let's just put a block here and then I can land on these. But it's like pushing me back so much. Look, I'm crouched. That's why. Okay, I thought I, I thought this whole time I was going mad. The reason why I wasn't able to swim up was because I was crouched and I wasn't able to swim fast enough. This makes sense now. Like it's not good, but it makes sense as to why it wasn't working. So now, all I need to do is break away this block and then put the, the fence done and we're done. We're done. That's it. That's it for the, the water. So yeah, this section... <laughs> I make I make building look so hard. I'm sorry, Polly. You're there just face palming down underneath me. <laughs> but there, there we go. The water is all done. So now all we need to do is to do a, a hopper, uh, which is going to be pushing all of the, the boats in. Because eventually we're going to have a, a minecart track coming up here. Uh, there's going to be a minecart with a chest in, which is going to be full of all of the, the different boats. And then that is going to, to be the thing that's going to be filling this up. And so this hopper is going to be the thing that's going to be basically sucking them all up. Uh, and then we're going to have a, a power rail here as well, uh, which is going to be the, the thing uh, firing them back. So actually, Polly, you can jump up here and you can help me out a little bit. So basically, we need one big tunnel uh, leading from where I am there, basically pretty much to the other side of where the, the ice is. And then we're going to be kind of sloping up on the, the other side uh, so it can go and be met on that side as well. So it's going to be going across here like this. And then we can also do just some lime green just for a little bit of variety uh, on the, the sides here, uh, which is basically going to be like a, as a wall uh, to keep it all in. Because what we're going to, to have going along here is basically a bunch of power rails. We're going to have a normal rail there uh, just so that one doesn't automatically get lit up. And then power rails going across here. Then we can also go and add in some redstone torches, uh, which is going to be lighting it all up and then on the other side there's going to be a big like um redstone track of repeaters which is going to be the thing which is going to set off this uh, power rail to go and send it back so there's going to be a detector rail down there i don't know why i'm telling you all of this you're you're going to see all of this in just one second because i'm going to be building it in one second but yeah polly uh, just carry on building this track going all the way over there uh, to around about where that kind of ready target is and then we'll end up linking it all up properly a little bit later on but then the only other thing that i need to, to add down on this side because it is really simple uh, basically Basically, all I need to, to add is a, a redstone clock. And this is basically going to be continually making this dispenser fire outwards. Of course, the majority of the time, this dispenser is going to be completely empty because it won't have any boats in. It just means as soon as kind of any boats go and get put inside of it, uh, it's going to be automatically kind of just fired out uh, just so the, the the stack of boats is going to be made. So simple, simple, simple redstone clock. Basically, the, the first thing that anyone who does redstone should learn about redstone is how to make a simple redstone clock. Basically, we do a little circle of these repeaters fully pulled back here. The only thing to make sure you do is when you 
you set off the redstone, use a lever, not a button, because you only want like a little tiny bit of redstone, just like that, uh, because otherwise, like the, the clock's going to end up being completely lit up. Uh, but now, basically, this dispenser is going to be continually firing things down, which means if I put a boat inside of it, you'll see that the boat will be fired out. And at the moment, it's probably going to go and get stuck under the pile of dirt. You can kind of see how it kind of spawns and gets slid across to the edge and then would drop down. If there wasn't a bunch of dirt in the, the way, that's what would happen anyway. There we go. That's the way it would go and get dropped down. I'm going to go and clear my... I get, I'll go clear it now. I was going to clear my, my mess of dirt later, but I should probably get rid of this thing now because it's a, it's a bit of a monstrosity and getting in the way. And actually, I probably want to go down there anyway, uh, just because I can go and start building up the the, the trail of minecart tracks, uh, which is going to be starting at the, the front of the game. So like you're never really going to need to go up to this end of the game unless you're going to be flicking up one of the, the boats to like get into the, the game and to reset the game and kind of everything else for the game that you're going to, to be needing to, to do uh, is instead going to be done from this side here. So there's going to be like a... A little bit of like uh, an entranceway, uh, which is going to be along here. We're going to kind of fence it off a little bit as well, just to make it look like a an official entrance to, to one of my mini games. I never like just leaving them right by the side. I always like to, to have some sort of little fancy entranceway. And seeing as green and green seem to be the the colours of the the day, uh, I guess we can use the a little stripe of lime green down the the side here, and then we have a, a track starting from the the beginning here. So basically, after every round, you'll gather up all of the the boats. You will put them inside of the the minecart chest, and then you can go and send them on their merry way, making their way. Way up to the the top so i'm gonna start the the track here and basically i now just need to do like a, a little staircase like this all of the way uh, up to the the top and this is eventually uh, going to to link up with what polly's going to do and then we're just going to fill this all in with power rails just to make it like go as fast as it possibly could go of course if you don't have as many power rails you could just do them with uh, with normal minecart tracks but we want this to be as fast and efficient as possible so basically i just need to, to build up until i link up with where uh, polly's is and then we can kind of start building in the, the sides and kind of covering the, the top uh, just to make it look neater. The only thing you need to make sure is that we do have room to, to keep all of the... the 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 tracks lit up uh, basically we need uh, enough redstone torches or levers or whatever it is uh, we want to, to add in uh, just to, to make sure that the uh, yeah the tracks all stay lit because otherwise the minecart is not going to be going anywhere so there we go this is where it ends up being linked up so what i can do is oh i haven't got a detector rail. how do i make a detector rail do you need like a is it like a pressure plate you need to make a detector rail hopefully i have what i need to, to make a detector rail. I, I can never remember how to like craft any of this stuff uh yeah it is it's a stone pressure plate and i can do that I I can do that. I can make a stone pressure plate. I know how to do that. So all I need to do is make a furnace and then I can go and put a little bit of this uh, inside of here. I can throw some of these uh, spare sticks in here. I also need to make some uh, normal minecart tracks. Well, at least one uh, normal minecart track just for the bit at the, the very end, just to make sure that the... Um the, the minecart stays where it needs to be at the, the end for, for long enough uh, so that you can, um, uh, yeah, it can like drop off all of the, the boats because if we get this timing perfectly, it's basically going to make its way to the end, drop off all of the, the boats just in time and then go and get sent back just so you're ready for the, the next game. So you do need to, to get the, the timing right to be able to, to do all of that. And oh, oh, this is a little bit weird how it doesn't start flat. I don't think it matters though, but I might just test that because <laughs> otherwise I can just go and uh, move it back slightly, uh, which won't be a problem. But let's just go and put, well, I guess I can go and do my chest minecart scene as that's what we're going to, to need to end up using here anyway. I don't think it makes any difference whether there's a chest in the minecart or not, but let's just test it. So is this, is this going to, to work? I guess I can go and just make a button. Is that going to go off? Whoa! No, it's not. It's not going to work. <laughs> I am glad I tested that. No problem though. Basically, if I just add one more uh, power rail there, I can go and just move the entire thing one block further this way. Uh, I do need to, to go and make it again. It's kind of annoying. Anytime you break it, uh, every time you break it, you're going to make it. You're going to kind of put it back into together to, to make it a new one. And then this one, I am sure, will be working. It won't make it very far up though, just because none of these power rails are, are lit up. But I should be uh, ready to, to make myself my detector rail. We only need to, to have a one of these. So uh, I only need to make one. And all my, what am I missing? Oh, I didn't make the pressure plate yet. <laughs> so let's go and make the, the pressure plate. And then we can go and make ourselves the, the detector rail. So basically, this guy is going to be at the, the very top here. We could also maybe use some of these instead of redstone torches and stuff to actually power the tracks as well. I don't know if it works when there's power rails on both sides. But basically, uh, right about down here-ish, we can do one detector rail there. And then we can have the redstone going from this detector rail. 
And then I need like one giant row of repeaters going down here. I'll tell you what, Polly, as I do these repeaters, do you want to go behind me and just pull them all back? Uh, just make sure that they're they're all as delayed as they can be. Uh, and then that way, uh, it will be as, uh, as big of a delay as we're going to, to need. So basically, the, the minecart's going to trigger this redstone. It's going to go way faster than the redstone because it's going to be whizzing along on the, the track. But eventually, when it goes and makes its way to the, the end here, it's going to be setting off this power rail here. And then it's going to be the, the thing that goes and... Uh, and sends it back so uh, we need to have a normal track next to, to here uh, just to, to kind of break these away a little bit then if I go and add in some redstone here like that and then if I do a block which can go here I guess like that and then I can just go and add one on the other side just to, to make this symmetrical uh, yeah this redstone is going to, to light up this power rail and send it back which means we also uh, need to have a, a block blocking this side here I am going to make all of this look pretty by the way like I, <laughs> we're not just going to have like this redstone just completely exposed we're just going to basically build like a big box over it just to, to make it look a little bit nicer but oh look Polly's done an amazing job going and lighting up all of these uh, power rails here so what we can do for for this section here is we can do like a well let's just do the roof I guess we can do actually you know let's not do the roof yet let's test it and then we'll build the the roof but we can do the roof over this section here so if I just build oh I nearly fell then. I really nearly fell then. So if I just place blocks down like this, does is that like building a roof? Ah, no, it's going like, <laughs> it's going a little bit too steep. You need to make sure that there's room for the, the minecart to actually be able to, to fit in. So I think if I go around like that, there we go. The minecart should be able to fit in there. And then what we can do, Polly, is we can put some redstone torches like on the underneath sides of these blocks. And then that should be able to, to be completely hidden and light up all of these tracks. Uh, just so the, the minecart will be able to, to make its way up here. Otherwise, it's going to be going absolutely nowhere. And then uh, once again, we can just go and fill in the, the sides. And I'm just going to do like one more side of like lime green wall here. Just to, to kind of fit in with the, the rest of the, the decorations for, for what it is that we're doing. So... Uh, yeah, what I was saying about with these redstone torches, let's just go and make some of these, is we can kind of do them on, like, the undersides like that there. And there we go. Uh, that lights up. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's lit. It's lit almost just to the top there. And then it's kind of stops. <laughs> so I need to add one more redstone at the, the top there. And then I believe, in terms of, like, the mechanical side for everything that needs to, to work, I believe that's going to be everything working. And then we just need to, to try and make everything look a little bit neater than it does right now. So let's go and add in a... Well, it stops here. Um, oh, this is annoying, actually. Uh, I'm going to have to just break the, the minecart again and build a, a new one. So, yeah, if I place it down, we really only need to, to light up a tiny bit of the, the track here. So if I go and place that one down there... And actually, I've just realized as well that this isn't going to work because <laughs> I've got it so that this one's still lit up at the, the beginning. This one, we don't want this to be lit up. We need that one to be off so that when you place the, um, the, the minecart straight down, it doesn't just immediately get set off. You want to do it so that when you press the, the button... Uh, it goes to, to get set off. So let me go and grab... Oh, where did the torch go? Yeah, let me go and grab this torch. And I'm going to have to just uh, to put this a little bit further up. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to guess a little bit here how far up to, to put it. What is it? Is it like... I can't feel, it's like nine blocks or something, I think, redstone travels. Something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure what it is for for Power Rail. So I can just kind of shuffle around this redstone torch. Uh, so it lights up the block next to that one, but not the, the first one. So if I put it down there... Um, Oh yeah, it goes a little bit weird sometimes because uh, like it links up with the, the ones that are lit up already. So I might need to, to kind of break away and put down this one again. So if I do that one there and then break this away and let me just go and make some spare redstone torches. I'm going to, to need a bunch of these anyway. So if I place it down here, how far down did that go? That's pretty close actually. And how much does that light up to the, the top here? And that does it up to there. So what we can do is if we just don't do it all power rails, we can just do a few normal tracks next to, to that. And then that first power rail will be enough to, to kind of send it just to the, the rest of the, the power rails. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day just kind of shifting one torch back and forth <laughs> until I get it right. I was one off. I was only one off though, but that's no problem. I can just go and put one uh, down here like this. And I believe... I believe it should be working now. I believe it should all be done. So let's go and uh, put down this here. And then let me make uh, let me make a few boats. Let me go and make a few boats. And let's see if we can make ourselves a, a bit of a, of a stack. So boats are a little bit more difficult than they used to be uh, to, to make. Just because we have to make a whole bunch of shovels, I guess. <laughs> they don't have oars. They have shovels. I guess they're, they're close enough. So let's just go and throw uh, a few of these boats uh, inside of here. Then let's go and make the, the boat stack. So we press the, the button. It's kind of cool. So we might actually be able to see it. Oh, we kind of can't see it. But you get the idea of what it's going to do. So that's going to be going up. That's 
that should have set up the, the redstone. It's going to make its way to the, the end, and then the boat should start firing out. We still have a, a little bit of a mess of dirt there. We can get rid of that, but that shouldn't block any of the boats. But if we've done this right, they should land perfectly. That's exactly where we wanted them to, to land, and they will make an absolutely perfect tower, and however many boats were put in there uh, are going to be stacked up to the, the top there like that. So I think I put about like six or seven of boats in, uh, so they're going to be stacked up. When we play the, the game, we're going to be doing up to 16 boats. So it's going to be basically like a, a mini boat skyscraper is, is going to be what we're going to, to be using <laughs> when we play the, the game rather than kind of the, the way it is now. Uh, so that should be all of the, the boats fired out. So fingers crossed, if all of the, the redstone is working and has gone to, to plan, that chest should have now been sent back to the, the beginning here. Uh, basically just ready for us to, to have the, the next game, uh, assuming it's all working. And oh, it's not here yet. So either it's got stuck somewhere or we've been like too eager. Oh, oh, it's stuck there. Ah, okay. Oh, this is good. This is good. I mean, it's not good. It got stuck, but <laughs> it's an easy problem to fix. Basically, the ceiling is too low. Just, just, I think it's just in the beginning. I don't know if it's all of the ceiling. It might just be where it like first starts going down here. So I might just need to break away this first block there because it seemed like it was making its way down. So if I break away that block, is it going to go and get stuck again? Uh, oh no, it is. Okay, so the ceiling is just one block too uh, too low the entire way down like this. This is uh, an easy enough fix to, to be able to, to do though. I'm just gonna have to, to add add my little redstone torch down again, aren't I? <laughs> but that's okay. I can just add it on one of these, uh, the new blocks uh, that will be revealed kind of as I break this uh, away. It's weird how like it made its way up without any problem, but then it wasn't able to like make its way back down again. So what I guess we could do is maybe do like the, the torch on one of the, the side walls, because eventually Eventually, we're going to, to have a bunch of, of lime green wool uh, just on the, the side here, just to just to keep the, the pattern the, the same as, uh, as what it was before. So I guess we can kind of go like dark green there and then have a lime green on top of that. And this pattern will eventually make it the whole way down. But basically means that we can go and put a torch down there. And there we go. Now it's made its way back to the, the beginning. So I need to do another test. I need to do another test. I need to see it working completely once just for me to be completely satisfied. So uh, let me go and grab all of the, the bottle notes. I'm going to do this as a, a normal rail because I moved the, the torch slightly. There we go. So yeah, let me go and just grab the, the boats. I'm going to go and throw them back inside of the, the chest because I just want to see it working absolutely perfectly one time just before I can say, yep, yeah, this is all working and we're happy. And I just want to do a very little quick test as well just to see how far the, the boats go depending on like how high up on the, the tower uh, you're actually setting them off. So let me just go and leave these blocks down here just so I have room to be able to, to pick up all of the, the boats and go back to the beginning. And now we will be able to, to see the, the minecart going the whole way up because it's all open. I promise you we will make this look prettier though because at the moment it's all it's all like a little bit open. It's kind of fun when you can like see all of your, your workings though. Something else that you'll notice is that they won't necessarily jump in the same order because look there's one jungle boat which has kind of been thrown in there with the, the rest of all of the, the others and oh it didn't make it up. Oh, there we go. Made it up there the second go. So yeah, it, it will drop them out in a random order, which is good because it means that like if there is an advantage, whether your boat's at the, the top or the bottom, it won't really matter because it's going to be like completely random when they drop down, which means like it's going to eventually end up fair just because, well, it's not like someone's always going to have the advantage because it's going to be random. Because as you can see, the, the jungle boat ended up actually dropping down first uh, instead of the, the oak boat. So yep, yeah, that's going to go up to the, the top there. All of these boats are going to, to be making their way down. So I think once the, the, the last boat's been fired down, let me try flicking the one like near the the top and let me see how far this one goes because this is about how how far back I was flicking it from last time it does seem to be going really fast actually maybe it doesn't make a difference maybe it doesn't make a difference how high up it is uh, so yeah I think it's just like going really really fast like even faster than I expected so yeah a lot of people are going to end up falling into the the pit but the big question is yes it is it made its way back to the beginning which means this redstone is 100% working I'm going to put my stampy seal of approval on this redstone and say that it's all working so rather than doing it now because we've done a lot of building today. I'm going to, to finish off uh, with the, the help of Polly, just the just the, the rest. So I'm basically just going to build a big box there. I'm going to do like a um a column as well. I guess I can kind of add this in here, just because I don't like the look of it like floating. I always like to to make it look like things are being held up by something. Uh, I could even actually do that for the... um. I didn't really think about this until now, but I could do that for some of the, the, the targets as well, because they are uh, kind of floating. But yeah, I do a tower up there, and I build just some sort of some sort of shape up there, just so it doesn't look completely open like that. 
and then we can just go and fill in the, the rest of the, the tunnel and do the, the roof up there. But then the game is going to, to be ready to be played. I still don't yet have a name for the, the game, so I will have to, to come up uh, with a name and kind of decide what it's going to be ended up uh, being called. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be playing this mini game uh, with the, the rest of my helpers in the next episode and having a tournament to see who is going to be the best and who is going to be the worst and have all of their boats falling into the pit. Spoiler alert, I think it's probably going to be me. <laughs> Sadly though, that is going to be the end of this episode here. I want to say a very big thank you to Polly for helping me out building. Of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!